<clears throat> so this is question number 22, and it says the demand function for a product is given by d of x is equal to 50 minus x, and the supply function is s of x is equal to x squared plus 20. Find the producer surplus at the equilibrium price. So um, producer surplus may be something that you haven't done very frequently, but you have covered it, so it might be um, it's fair game on your final. So what we need to do first is kind of look at the graph of this. Graph of demand is just a straight line this way, while our graph of our supply and demand is um, looks like some kind of curve like this. So what um, producer surplus, so this is where they intersect. This is uh, our equilibrium quantity. And over here, that y value where that exists is our equilibrium price. So what producer surplus is, is this line for equilibrium price minus our supply function. And this is saying that up until we reach this equilibrium price, this whole shaded amount that I'm drawing here, this shaded amount, that's how much we're going to have in surplus. We're going to be producing that much more. Um, so what we need to do is first set them equal to each other because we need to find equilibrium quantity before we can find equilibrium price. So I have 50 minus x is equal to x squared plus 20. I bring everything to one side. I get 0 is equal to x squared plus x, and then 20 minus 50 is minus 30. So I can factor this to be um, x uh, plus 6, x minus 5. My value is equal to x equals negative 6, x equals 5. Well, obviously our quantity is not going to be negative, <clears throat> so our value is x equals 5. So that's our value, but we need to know what our equilibrium price is. And what you can do is you can actually plug in 5 to either both the demand, or, or either the demand or the supply value, because it's the same, it'll be the same y value at that uh, quantity. So I'm just going to go and plug it into demand, and I get um, that equilibrium price would be equal to 50 minus 5, which is equal to 45. So our equilibrium price is $45. So now to find the area that's in between our supply curve and our equilibrium price line, take the integral from where we start, which is 0, all the way to my price, which is 5, or my quantity, which is 5, of 45 minus my supply curve, which is x squared 20. So now, and then this is dx. Now I just take the derivative of that, so that gives me 45x minus x cubed over 3 minus, oh, and we can actually simplify it, because we've got 45 minus 20, that's the same thing as 25 minus x squared. And now, when we take um, the derivative, we just get 25x minus x cubed over 3 from 0 to 5. <clears throat> I know this is kind of getting down here. I'll erase this <laughs> lovely little graph. So I've got 25x minus x cubed over 3 from 0 to 5. Plug in 5, I get 125 minus 125 over 3 minus, and if I plug in 0, I get 0. So um, 125 over 3, get the math over the, this is like 375 over 3 minus 125 over 3, which is equal to 250 over 3. And when we divide that, 3 goes into 25 8 times, um, and then 24, we subtract 1, um, which gives us 1. Bring down the 0, which is 10. 3 goes into 10 3 times, and we'll continue to. So our answer then is A, our equilibrium, our, um, our producer surplus at the equilibrium price is $83.33.